Okay, I'm seeing, oh my god, dude. I'm pretty sure this is just a box of barbecue sauce. Oh my god! Oh my god! Soil temperature. What? Soil temperature. Whoa. Because they have a short lifespan. 45 to like 55 degrees. What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of fishing more outdoors. I am not 100% sure what's all going down in this video, but right now... I'm looking for a cord to plug in my boat and my cousin Brett. You all know, all know Brett. All the true Fish and More subscribers all know Brett. Brett's about to pick me up and uh, we're going to go mushroom hunting, I guess. I've never done it. I don't know. But stay tuned, y'all. Hopefully it'll be fun. The cows are back. Haven't seen them in like seven months. That's so another thing that really helps me is to get really low so you're kind of eye level with them a little bit more. And spot them out. I don't even know what they look like, dude. You're gonna have to show me what one looks like. Yeah, I'm really regretting bringing my cowboy boots. I don't know, I wanted to be cool like you, and they're not, I just, they're just not comfy. Welcome back, dudes. We are in the woods, as you can see, and we are with Brett, and Brett's showing us how it's done. No, dude, I can't believe I haven't done this before. I've never done this. I've never eaten mushrooms either. What? Well, I haven't eaten these kind of mushrooms. <laughs> I just need you to find one for me first, yeah. and then I'll be off on my way, and I will fill up bags, bag loads. Can you do a quick like tutorial? Sure, yeah, find me a mushroom. So number one, soil temperature. What? Soil temperature. Whoa. Because they have a short lifespan, 45 to like 55 degrees. Because like key, and then after 55 to 60 degrees, 60 degrees. They start to, to see, they start dying. Dang. Yeah, so literally, and another thing, they only live about a week once they're popped up. So you got a short window yep. to look for these they keep suckers. popping up in them weeks if the temperature stays the same. Like this year's been a dry year. This has been a dry year, but it's been good soil temperature this whole week because we've been having, even if it has been warm, it's been cold overnight, so that soil temperature stays the same. Dang. Yeah. Freaking mushroom expert. Another thing, number two, important. Know your trees. What's a good tree? Oh, well, there's like four important ones in Minnesota. I know what kind of tree that is. What's that? That one. It's a pine tree. Yep. <laughs> Elms, ash, popples. Have to redo that. Got to think Elms, ash, popple, oak trees. Oak trees? Yep. Hardwood. How Hardwood. come we haven't found one yet? I haven't really been looking. I'm trying to just get back to the juice where we ended. Oh. You got your on X turned on in case we get lost? I won't get lost. I like your hat. Yeah. Shout out on X. Mm -hmm. Love those guys. It's going a lot better than I thought it was. <laughs> Would have. <laughs> <laughs> haven't even found one yet. I'm going to find one before you. How about that? Right. You can I'll, bet me. I'll give you a head start. Okay. Am I going the right way? Sure. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna find one. <laughs> found one. Yep. No way. Yep, I see a couple. No, where? One back there. Oh my God. Check it out, it's my first ever mushroom find. What do I do? Pluck it? You can pluck it or just cut it. So I like to do one of them. No way. And try to keep your bag as clean as possible because the cleaner it is, the less you have to clean them. Okay, well, I don't have a knife. So well, I should. And then I'll show you what else you can do. Okay, if you don't have a knife. Grab them at the base, pinch, do a little twist. Just like that. Okay, and okay. And then just pull your dirt off the best you can. Oh my there God. Go. We're going to find, and there's another one. Sometimes when I come up to them before I even pick one. Really? What? I'll sit right next to it. And just or look around? And just scan around. I'll try to count them out. Because if you don't count them out... Oh, because I bet you look away, you might lose it, eh? I see one over there. Looks like a little pecker sticking out of the ground. Yep. So that's another important thing. Look for the shape of them. Don't look for the morale. Look for a pecker. Like, kind of like a pecker sticking out of the ground. <laughs> this might turn into a new hobby. Oh, that right there, there was pines on each side and then a row of, like, them elms and birches and... So it's like that all the way through here. You'll see. And you want to kind of look for them transitions or what? Yep. 
Yeah, the transitions are good. And like I said, on a wet year, all this moss in here and stuff, they're, they're just thick in here. Like two years ago, it was a real wet year. You kept getting consistent rain. Dang. It's hot in here. I've never picked mushrooms. How come you said the mother That's a very common name people say. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just my inner hippie. If I see a snake, I'm going to lose my shit. Look at the size of that bastard. Two little guys. That one looks weird. Are they supposed to, supposed to look like that? Yep. That's normal? Yep, so if, you, if, it's, if it's not good, you'll know. Is that not good? It feels weird. So that one's crusty. I wouldn't even grab it. This one's really? fine. That one's nice. This one's good? If it's crusty, if it's just the tip, you're okay. But if it's, you know, multiple. <laughs> just the tip. Just the tip. All right, stay tuned, dudes. I'm going to freaking get to pick and put my phone down. Let's get some mushrooms. One hour later. Welcome back, y'all. Brett is way over there. I got a pretty decent amount so far, but I... You got a big one? I had to turn the camera on really quick. I just found probably my biggest mother low. There's one here, right here, right there, right there, right there, right there. Some up there. There's some back there. There's some over there. I plucked some right here and right here. Yeah, definitely my biggest mother load so far. Anyway, stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to try to fill this bag as full as I possibly can. And yeah, probably see you back at the truck or something. Welcome back, dudes. We are back in the truck. Here is our freaking loads. How long were we out there first off? Like five hours? Oh, three, four hours, I think. Three, four hours? Yeah. We kind of got lost by time that was like super fun here's brett's load you can't really tell he's got a lot more than me and here's my load i'm not i'm not bummed about that i'm pretty happy with that load oh yeah yeah especially that i picked i was picking there yesterday with the family yeah yeah we just kind of got the couple spots a couple we, stragglers yeah, yeah. definitely really freaking fun though i'm definitely gonna have to start doing this with freaking Brady, thanks for bringing me dude and thanks to your brother for showing me how to do it yeah no he crap shout out ryan i was gonna do a little catch and cook but i don't know how to cook them and brett's gotta run so i'm probably gonna say that for another time but yeah stay tuned y'all like i said i don't know what we're gonna be doing next but welcome back dudes it is the next day and uh i got kind of a little bit of a surprise more of a surprise for me but i'm gonna film it so yeah, stay tuned. I have to go meet the Fed. Ooh, I have to unhook my boat, too. I have to go meet the FedEx guy at the gas station. Let's go. How's it going? Uh, I think I should probably back up here. Dang, it's the whole pellet. What's that? Wow, it's the whole pellet? Yeah. That's insane. Should we just start hucking them in from yeah. here? Holy crap. <laughs> Jesus. You guys just get a Traeger? Uh, no, I've had one for a while. Yeah, I hear really good things about those. Maybe. They're awesome. Yeah, yeah. his neighbor has one and he uh, like controls it from the internet at, you know, in his yeah, house. Yeah, I got it all on my phone. I, know, that's awesome. I can turn it on from the lake and yeah. all that. Oh, yeah. Alright man, thank you. Dudes, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? You see how much stuff? <laughs> Stay tuned, dudes. I'm on my way back to my house. I am lost for words right now. We will uh, we'll go through some of the stuff once we get back to my house. Dudes, I like literally don't even know where I'm going to put all of this. I'm gonna have to like put it in my laundry room or something. I wanna open this stuff first. First box, dudes. Let's see what we got inside it. I'm hoping it's a bunch of seasonings or barbecue sauce. Or oh, there's some shirts. A couple of teas. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. I haven't even tried these kind. Oh, I love this one actually. The pork and poultry. This one's really good. Blackened Saskatchewan rub. I gotta crack it open and get a sniff quick. 
Oh man, that's insane. That's fire, shout out Traeger for some fire merch. I think this is, yeah, that's, I think that's just the same shirt. All right, we got another box. Hold on. This box is heavy. Straight up too, dudes. I have no clue what's in these boxes. I didn't, I didn't pick anything out. I didn't order anything. This is just as a surprise as it is for you guys. Okay, I'm seeing, oh my God, dude. I'm pretty sure this is just a box of barbecue sauce. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? A bunch more clothes too. Coffee rub. Let's go through these rubs quick. What do we got? This is the juice right here. Fin and feather. Mm, this is one of my favorites. Best barbecue sauce in the world. Looks like I got a bunch of them. Apricot. Woo! Coffee rub. I gotta smell this. What? I'm just imagining this on a freaking juicy tenderloin off a big old. Okay, this is insane. This looks like a really freaking cool shirt. This shirt has a pig on it and it says I'd smoke that. <laughs> I am absolutely blown away, dudes. Traeger, if you guys are watching this video, um, thank you so much. Like, holy crap, this is... This is gonna last me like the entire summer probably, probably even longer than that. If you haven't heard of this brand, Traeger, you have to check them out. Once again, if you guys don't know what Traeger is, it is a brand of grill. It's a, a wood pellet grill, smoker grill. The things are freaking awesome. They make your food just taste so amazing. So yeah, check them out. I'll leave them linked in the description. I'm so freaking pumped right now and grateful. Like this is, oh. This is insane. But I have to figure out where I'm going to put all these pellets because there's definitely like 15 bags of pellets right there. And then yeah, I'll talk to you guys once again in a little bit. What you see, Kevin? Welcome back, dudes. It is like about to rain now. I got all the pellets in the house and I just got the tarp on the... Actually, it's starting to sprinkle right now a little bit. Come on, Kev. Anyways, dudes, I like legitly don't have anywhere to put the pellets. So they're just like stacked up behind my couch in my living room for now. I am still just like lost for words. I'm so blown away. Then up here next to all my shore lunch, that's where we got all of our sauces stacked up. I cannot freaking wait. I, I've, I've been without this sauce for like six months now and I've been missing it so much. I cannot wait to use this once again. Anyways, y'all, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely a different one, more so of the more part of the fish and more. Huge shout out to Brett for bringing me mushroom picking. That was like really fun, like really fun. That almost reminded me of like egg it picking when I was a kid. And then obviously the biggest shout out to Traeger Grills. And obviously check out the pellets and the barbecue sauces and the rubs and all that stuff anyways y'all stay tuned for some more fishing next video and uh yeah like this video share this video smash that subscribe button hit that bell next to that subscribe button i guess all it's up to say dudes you guys are fishing more bye okay seriously traeger you guys need to chill out 18 bags of pellets like what am I going to do with all this delicious stuff? Where am I going to put it?